Hi friends, it's me, Megan, and I'm Jessie. Hey Megan, do you remember that time we went horseback riding and you let me ride on your horse with you so I wouldn't be scared? Oh, I do remember that. And we had so much fun and you did great. Yeah, we did have fun. So, do you remember that time you uh, sprayed sunblock on me so I wouldn't get sunburned? Oh yeah, I do. I think you were able to play outside all day without getting burned. Yep. And do you remember that time I was sad I didn't get to go ice skating and you made me feel better? I do. Jesse, you are so sweet to remember all these things. Aw, thanks. You're my good friend, Megan. Aw, we are good friends, Jesse. You remembering things I've done for you reminds me of our Bible story. It does? Yeah, in today's Bible story, Joshua told the Israelites to remember what God had done for them and how God kept every promise he made to them. Let me tell you the story, friend. Joshua was getting old. For many years, God had given the people of Israel peace and rest from their enemies. They had not fought any battles. One day, Joshua gathered all of the Israelites. He had some important things to tell them. Joshua said, remember what God has done for you. When you were in battle, God fought for you. I want you to be strong. Do everything God told you to do. Do not disobey God and do not turn away from God. Trust him. Joshua said, God has never broken a promise to you. Then. Joshua reminded the people of everything God had done for them in the past. God had called Abraham and given him a son, Isaac. God had given Isaac two sons, Jacob and Esau. God had rescued the Israelites from the Egyptians. God had done so many great things for his people. Joshua said to the people, will you worship God or false gods? As for me and my family, we will worship the Lord. The people replied, we will not worship other gods. We know how much God has done for us and we love him. The people remembered that God had helped them win battles against their enemies. They remembered how he protected them as they traveled. Joshua gave the people a warning. If you do turn away from God to worship other gods, God will turn against you. He will destroy you. The people said again, we will worship the Lord. On that day, Joshua made an agreement with the people. He set up a large stone under an oak tree and said, when you see this stone, remember that you promised to worship the Lord. God always keeps his promises. Then Joshua sent the people back to their homes. Before Joshua died, he left the Israelites with a task, obey God. After Jesus' death and resurrection, Jesus appeared to his disciples and left them with a task, obey him by telling others about him.